We tried the new boat ramp at Valentine for this trip, and I'm afraid it didn't work out too well. You can just see the end of the concrete ramp in front of the wheels of the trailer. There was such a drop off that I couldn't actually pull the trailer out. The wheels were stuck. I had to scoop up some rocks and backfill the end of the ramp so that the trailer's wheels would ride up, ride up them and then onto the concrete ramp. Alright, well, um, so we're coming down the lake of course, so this video is mainly about, uh, I guess, the southern end of the lake. I hope to have a bit of a look at Poolbar Island and maybe Wanji as well. Whoa, that was a really good cast, Campbell. Okay, alright Campbell, you're going to tell everybody how to cast a rod? As you can see, Campbell had a go at fishing, but thought it might be easier to catch a fish in the bucket. Our first night on this adventure was once again at the Sand Islands. We spent the next morning playing catch and mucking about on the Cricket Island before making our way towards the southern end of the lake and Poolbra Island. So if you wanted to get sort of resources and everything on the northern end of the lake, you sort of have obviously your Belmont uh, where you could walk to the shops, Warner's Bay which we've covered in a previous video, uh, Toronto is also relatively close to the water to provision. Once you start to get to the southern end of the lake here, um, there's not as many places where the shopping centre is as close to the water. So one of the benefits of Wanji um, is that you can access Wanji from the southern and from the northern side of the point. So if you are in the southern end of the lake, then you can just drop into Wanji to pick up some of your ice and meat and uh, milk and bread and stuff like that. Now, there's not uh, many spots on Lake Macquarie that I'd actually say are shallow. But this shoreline here along the western side, along the eastern side of Lake Macquarie opposite Swansea, uh, it is pretty shallow all along there. And you might be able to see in the background, um, if you do want to get into Swansea there, uh, when you're down the lake here, when you're opposite Wanji, you need to go in through the markers there and it's still not very shallow. So yeah, be careful of this whole bank down here off Swansea uh, as you head opposite Wanji there. Poolbra Island is an uninhabited island that is also recognised as an Aboriginal place used by the Awabakal people. It's been harvested for timber, used to graze animals and rabbits were introduced for hunting. Eventually it was populated with a wide range of native animals, even emus, but many animals perished as the island is not large enough to sustain such a population. There were several caretakers who had a cottage and jetty on the island and some other infrastructure and the remains of some of this can We're still be seen the on the northern shoreline okay. today. Let's go back to the boat then. Now start the end up. Alright Okay, well uh, we've spent the night at uh, Pulbar Island there on the southern side. We've got a little bit of wind up today. There's meant to be quite strong later in the day so it's still quite early before 7am at the moment. 
um, and we're just trying to get a, get a little bit north of the lake. I'd like to try and go to Kilburn Bay today, um, and I'll explain why a bit later. But yeah, the southern end, the southern side of Pulbara Island, sorry, it's quite a rocky foreshore, so it's not as nice to pull up to, uh, to pull the trailer sailor right into, but it has got a number of caves there and everything for you to sort of explore. There's not a lot of walking trails on Pulber Island. Uh, it's mainly around the around the sort of perimeter of it, but it is certainly a very common and very liked destination for the southern end of the lake. You can probably just notice behind me there the um, stacks from the power station. Lake Macquarie's southern end, or from Wanji down, actually has a few power stations. So this power station is called a Raring Power Station. We're going to go around a Wanji side, and so we'll have a look at the decommissioned Wanji power station. And there's also Bales Point, which is right at the southern end of the lake. Now, something really interesting about the Araring power station here is they take, of course, they have an inlet from the lake where they take the cool water, but they also have an outlet where the warm water comes back into the lake. So if you've watched my videos, you probably figured out that I, um, in one of my videos there, I'm a bit of a keen water skier. But... Uh, if you are into water skiing and you want to ski water ski during winter, you can come and jump in the outlet during winter because it's actually warm water. Um, you know, it's sort of like 22 degrees or something. Much nicer than jumping in the 16 degrees cold water in winter. Uh, not that I do that a lot, but it is an option there if you are a die-hard water skier and you, but you don't like cold water, you can jump in the hot water outlet and, um, and have a ski. Wanji Jetty actually got destroyed in a storm uh, maybe five years ago. What's happened, Campbell? The, woods has, the jetty has collapsed and must have lose one of those things and yeah, it's fall down. That jetty over there is full. Oh dear. dear. And the jetty's only just been replaced. So we're very fortunate um, that we've been one of the first ones here to actually sample the new jetty. Um, excellent jetty, I highly recommend it. It's got a, a T at the end here as you can see. Um, it's plenty deep. It's plenty deep here. Um, I don't know exactly, maybe two or three meters. But yeah, you can see there that depending on the wind, there's plenty of different locations there where you can tie up to the jetty. It's a big expansive jetty. Um, most crucially, of course, for cruisers, is it has got some fresh water down here, um, which obviously is looks like it's free to access, so you can fill up your tanks there for free. Um, good bollards. I'm presuming there's going to be a garbage bin in the main street, and I'm going to jump dump that um, that bag of garbage there as well. Just on the foreshore here, as you can see, right next to the jetty is an electric barbecue. So if you don't want to cook on board, you've got that option as well there. A couple of park benches, as you can see. Lovely little grassed area. And when I said that we might find a bin, um, we actually might find a whole bunch of bins that we can use to dump our rubbish. There's also, uh, right down in the distance there, there's also a toilet block, um, which again is also, <clears throat> I don't know why, for some reason I seem to always talk about toilet blocks everywhere I go, but it is important if you're on a little trailer sailor, uh, sometimes it's appreciative to be able to have a toilet, a land-based toilet. A boat ramp, a toilet, and what else was there? A play gym. A play gym. Oh, very good. And what about, is there a barbecue over there I see too? Yes. A barbecue as well. The main street of uh, Wanji's got a lovely little cafe down in the corner. We've got the news agents. We have a takeaway stall. There's the service station, of course. Um, when we spin around here, 
We've got, uh, even got a library, a library in Wanji, how good is that? A post office, obviously hairdressers, and then on the corner here is, um, is just the pub, which of course has got bottle-o, a bottle shop, and restaurant. And where are we at here? Uh, the pub. What's good about the pub? Let's go and play gym. There's even a uh, pharmacy and the IGA. What's our problem? No, we're gonna hit the shore. Okay, have we come to the end of the creek for us? No. I yes. think we have. Yes, but do the think... creek doesn't end. Uh, Campbell, do you think we can get through there? No, no. No, boys, can't get through there? No. Or I have to All pull right. the tender onto shore and then yep. go back out. That's a bit too much effort for what we want today, isn't it? We've oh, got 10,000 golf balls. Here we go. Oh, okay. How many golf balls did you find? 12. And that orange one there, I'm happy. That one. Oh, is that yours as a Cooper, the yeah, orange one? That one. So, Alright, juice it up, Cooper. kids on board, I guess I'm kind of solo sailing. I found that the autopilot down here, attached to the tiller there, it's, uh, it's invaluable. It allows me to sort of trim the sails, to get everything ready, even to get the sails up to start with. I can just put the motor into gear, head into the wind, that gives me time to set the sails up, and then of course I can take the steering over and get us on track, and like we're doing at the moment, once we're going, I'm free to move around to get the boys food if they want to, and the autopilot is doing a great job there tracking us down the lake. Well, apart from some footage of the lovely conditions available on Lake Macquarie, we're pretty much at the end of this video. 
We've had a look at Boober Island, got some supplies from Wanji, and had an explore up Kildon Bay Creek. There wasn't much left but to pack up the boat and look forward to our next adventure. If you like what you've seen, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. See you next time.